This box contains the 2-in-1 soldering and these soldering hard tweezers, the secure HD140. We will not only test it with SMD components but also with through-hole components to determine its versatility and effectiveness. Ultimately finding out if this is the ultimate soldering and repairing tool. I will also test the HD140 with my 4S lithium ion battery pack to see if it can function as a portable soldering and desoldering tool. A 4S battery pack might provide enough power but I will check if it can deliver stable performance and maintain the required heating levels. This test will help determine if the HD140 can be used for on-the-go repairs and field work without relying on a wall adopter. So let's start with the unboxing. The secure HD140 comes in a well-built protective carrying case giving it a premium feel right from the start. The case is sturdy and compact making it easy to store and carry. A USB-C type cable. There is also a user manual with a QR code which makes accessing additional resources much easier. Scanning the QR code takes you directly to the official secure website or documentation where you can find detailed instructions from the updates and troubleshooting guides. Accessory package. This includes essential tools such as a screwdriver and an allen key, adding and tip replacement and maintenance. HD station, a sturdy middle stand that securely holds the HD140 when not in use, ensuring safety and convenience. A 65 watt power adopter. A primary device that functions as both hard tweezers and a soldering iron. This is quite impressive. The secure HD140 has two power input options, USB-C for modern fast charging adopters and the DC barrel jig which allows you to power the tweezers using a traditional DC adopter. It features an OLED display for real-time temperature monitoring and the two buttons allow for quick adjustments. These buttons serve multiple purposes. Let me first power up this beast and show you practically how to use these buttons. On the display, you can see the set temperature which you can easily adjust using these buttons. To increase the temperature, simply short press this button. You can raise the temperature all the way up to 500 degrees Celsius, making it suitable for high temperature soldering tasks. To decrease the temperature, short press the other button. The temperature can be lowered down to 50 degrees Celsius, allowing for precise control when working with heat sensitive components. The temperature controller inside the HD140 is highly responsive. It rapidly adjusts the bit's temperature to the desired set value, ensuring precise and consistent heating. This quick response helps minimize waiting time, making the soldering and desoldering process more efficient, especially when working with delicate SMD components. Next to it, you can see the current X3.0 amps. Work means the tweezers are actively heating and maintaining the set temperature. This means the heating elements are powered and ready for soldering or desoldering. To stop the heating function, simply long press this button and you will see the word stop on the display, indicating that the heating has been turned off. If you want to resume work, long press the same button again and the display will switch to work, meaning the tweezers are heating up. Next to it, you can see the input voltage. If you want to access additional settings, Simply long press this button to enter the menu and then short press the same button to scroll through menu items. Select the menu item and then long press the same button to open that item. To exit a menu item or close the menu completely, long press both buttons simultaneously. 
I won't go through all the menu options since they are easy to figure out once you start using the device. Instead of spending time on the menu details, it's more valuable to focus on the actual usage and hands-on experience with the HD140. Using the HD140 hard pieces to desolder SMD components is incredibly easy, especially when compared to doing the same task with a regular soldering iron, which can be quite difficult. After using it, I feel that even people who have never done soldering or desoldering before can easily operate this tool. The tips are very fine, allowing us to solder and desolder even the tiniest components with precision. I also have an SMD reverb station, but for small repair tasks, using it isn't always feasible. If you plan to solder with the HD140, you need to be mindful of the temperature settings. I have already made a detailed video on SMD soldering, which you can watch for guidance. Anyways, you can see the HD140 hot tweezers can be used for both soldering and desoldering. Now let's try using it to desolder through hole components. With a regular soldering iron, you need to heat each bit separately. You also have to use a solder sucker alongside the iron, making the process more tedious, time consuming and difficult. Components can sometimes stick due to uneven heating, increasing the risk of damaging the PCB or nearby components. On the other hand, the HD140 hard tweezers heat both sides of a component simultaneously, allowing you to lift it off effortlessly. This makes SMD desoldering much faster, cleaner and reduces the risk of damaging delicate plates. The fine tips also make it possible to work on tiny components with precision, something that's challenging with a traditional soldering iron. For the soldering of through-hole components, a regular soldering iron might still be useful, but for desoldering, the HD140 hard tweezers make the job significantly easier and more efficient. Now, I'm going to power up the HD140 hard tweezers using my 4S lithium ion battery pack to test whether it can function as a portable soldering and desoldering tool. Let me tell you, this device supports an input voltage of up to 28 volts, which means you can also try using 5S or even 6S lithium ion battery packs. This makes it a highly versatile tool, allowing for cordless operation, which can be incredibly useful for on the go repairs or field work. Overall, the Secure HD140 is a game changer for electronics enthusiasts, repair technicians, and professionals working with SMD components. Whether you need it for precision work, quick repairs, or portable soldering, this tool delivers outstanding performance and ease of use. So, that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.